said the person that owned this storage unit also owned a thrift store and right then and there my heart sank to my toes i don't know why he had so much of this stuff so much pioneer woman <gasps> bro coleman lightweight rust free aluminum sequoia cooking station more coleman that looks sealed manufacturer's tape i'm still seeing coleman's just popping up everywhere there's coleman there all right what we got phil oh whoa oh it's a griddle it's a grill and griddle combo i just i think I, I almost feel like they stole it that's a that looks to be a safe or some type of lock box I'm excited about that. This right here, this right here. All of these, these things sell for $50 a piece. It's not gold, it's not silver, but look at this, that's $500. This right here pays for everything. Pays for it all, guys, pays for it all. Every bit of it, it's paid for. Ooh, ooh, man. What is going on here? What's going on guys? It's Jason. Welcome to another episode of Man vs. Mystery. As always, we are in the middle of a hallway. Fortunately, a climate controlled storage facility right here, 10 by 20, bought this one on Storage Treasures for $390. We're gonna crack this bad boy open and see what we've got. I hope we make some money. Are you ready, Phil? Ready as always. He was born ready. <laughs> All right, guys, so why did I buy this? Well, the sheer volume is one thing, and I like uh, I like to put myself in agony. Sheer volume all the way to the ceiling. It's a 10 by 20, but this right here caught my eye. That looks brand new. This right here looks to be brand new as well. This right here looks to be Pioneer Woman. That right there, more Pioneer Woman right there. So there's really no telling what we're going to find in this thing. Um, one thing that uh, did concern me about this was when I went in to pay for this unit I said how long has this storage unit been here and she said I don't know exactly how long it's been here but the person that owned this storage unit also owned a thrift store and right then and there my heart sank to my toes because I thought to myself okay what did I just get myself into like I figured I just bought a 10 by 20 storage unit full of thrift store donations is what I thought but honestly we don't quite know obviously what's in here but judging by the type of stuff that we can see up here in the front, I think we're going to be safe. If it's a 10 by 20, you can't even see in the back. No, you can't see in the back. You can only see like 6 or 7 feet in. Right. Right. And what you see is clean. What I can see is clean and it's uh, good quality stuff. Okay, let me take that back. This is clean looking stuff, not good quality. This isn't in particular. This is particle board. We're going to go ahead and get some of this furniture up on the box truck and make room so that we can get to uh, the goodies. All right, although it's on its side, this is a really nice entertainment center. It's really nice. And these right here, we've got two corner cabinets or corner shelves. And then we have these two shelves here, curio style shelves. We, we haven't even made a dent. We're almost filling the box truck up really quick with all this. Look at here, we got another shelving unit here or some type of armwire cabinet or something. I don't know what that is. And another one there. We got ourselves a rocking chair. We got a couple of these bookshelves, a little end table there or nightstand. Yeah. So we got ourselves a lot of furniture, but I see boxes. I see boxes down there. So not all hope is lost. This is a, hopefully we find the glassware to it. It's a really nice coffee table. If you know anybody in the uh, Oklahoma city Metro needing some furniture, well, Jason just came across a lot of it. Look at here. Rocker recliner, 60 bucks. So he was at one point trying to sell this. That is actually kind of nice. Who knows what we're going to find? Who knows? There's Hopefully. A, there's an end table to this coffee table. I see a GE double burner sitting right there too. So we'll get in the nitty gritty of it very shortly. Okay, so we got this one out. And it, I just walked back here and look. Coleman Screen Haven, 14 by 12 in the box. Unfortunately, she said that um, the light in here does not work, so it's going to be kind of dark a little bit. Look at that. Is it brand new? Guys, this thing is brand spanking new. Never been used. Wow. Look at that. 14 by 12 screen. That's incredible. There you go. What you think about this, Phil? Brand new. Sounds like a good time at the lake. Yeah, yeah, without the mosquitoes. 
I'm not sure what these are, but let's try and get these out. Oh. <gasps> Bro! Coleman Lightweight Rust-Free Aluminum Sequoia Cooking Station. Brand new. Is that the burner too, or is it just this? I don't know. Um, probably just this and this. That's cool. Hold Coleman on. Cooking Station. Brand new. <laughs> probably two of them. What do you want to bet? Look at this one. Ta da! Look at that. That is sexy. Ain't never been used, man. Oh, man. Look at this. The heck is that? That's a flexi basket <laughs> from Ozark Trail. Look, we got more stuff. Ooh, Copper oh, no. Chef. Look. We got Copper Chef down here, bro. Insulated beverage holder. Yep. Recycle bin. Weird. Look, we got Copper Chef down there. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. I'm getting really excited now. Boxes and boxes back here. We just gotta get this dang furniture out so we can get to all the goodies. Golly, so much stuff. So much stuff. Okay, we uncovered a crap load of Lowe's boxes. And then on top of that, more Coleman. That looks sealed, manufacturer's tape. This right here. File Cabernet. Hey, what's up here? This may be, this CPA stuff. So this might be stuff from the old thrift store. Either way, nothing incredible. File cabinet's nice. Nice locking cabinet here. We're gonna get this out and then we're gonna keep going. So I'm short and I found a folding chair and now I'm standing on it and let me show you something. It gets taller the further back you go. Holy shnikes. That is so much stuff. Look, this right here says uh, Coleman on it. You got this GE double burner here. I don't know what this is. Green bag. Got a little camp stove here. Some random stuff in here. I don't know what in the world, but I'm liking it. Weird, I never thought that I'd buy a thrift store storage unit and actually like it. But I think this is it. This, If there was ever a time, right now would be it. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what we've got in store back there, but uh, there's definitely a lot of headless. stuff. That guy's headless. Oh no. Where's his head? I don't know. It's right here. Oh, oh no, Someone the Pope! Someone knocked off the Pope's head. The Pope's head is gone. No. Not the Pope. <laughs> Not anyone but the Pope. <laughs> okay, drug this out. I don't know what it is, but we're about to find out. It says Coleman. Oh, nice. There's a Coleman propane grill stove in there. That's a nice one, too. Yeah, that's cool. Here's a spot to hold things. Yeah, I thought that was to hold your beer. Um, this is a big freaking Coleman thingy. It says Coleman Kitchen. Coleman Kitchen. Coleman Kitchen. What? Get that. Get that right there. Yeah, that piece of paper. Oh, dude, that's cool. It's even got a checkerboard. And... What in the heck is going on right now? That's freaking cool, dude. Dude, that is cool. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Dude, Coleman, props to you. Can you imagine having to pack all this up when you leave after camping? Dude, imagine taking this camping. It'd be awesome. Oh, well, I, I take my 36-inch Blackstone camping, so. Yeah, you take your Blackstone camping. Yeah, I bet you do. All right, what's in this? What's in this bag? Looks like more bags. Zipper. It's a bag in a bag. Yep. Uh, it's an empty bag in a bag. I'm going to get this little... This. Hey, you got a Blackstone. This is... Kind of similar ish, I think maybe. No, that's, no, a, that's a burner. Yeah, burner it's a stove. It's a okay. Layer. I'm still seeing Coleman's just popping up everywhere. There's Coleman there. There's a waffle maker. Oh, there's a Stanley box in here. Ooh, let's get to it. Let's get to it, guys. Let's look in this box here. Dura brand waffle maker. I like a waffle. Oh, Stanley. Oh, there's two Stanleys. Yeah, let's open this one. Stanley Yonats. You know that? Oh, wow. Oh. I was not expecting that. That is freaking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh, screwdrivers. No, mm -hmm. knives. I like it. You did not see that. <laughs> I never, huh? What'd you say? <laughs> you, said you, did, you did not see that. Didn't see what? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Royal cuisine. Look at that. Man, I'm set for camping. 
I wonder if there's a, like an actual camper buried back there. That would be nice. A little it's propane stove. Room. This guy was like running maybe like a little camper section in his thrift store or something. I don't know. Or he was saving all the good stuff for himself. Yeah. I don't see much of anything else except for little Christmas thingies here and there. Yeah. So strange. This unit. This unit I just doesn't make any sense to me. I just... I, it's not making any sense to me. <laughs> Fabric. Five dollars a bag. Prepper. Was it a prepper? No, no. But like the, the, the mixture of brand new, brand new Coleman stuff, products that we've been finding, and then just like thrift store stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. All right, what do we got, Phil? Oh, whoa, it's a griddle. It's a grill and griddle combo. That is cool. Propane. Grab one of these lows, box. Hopefully there's, hopefully there's some highs in these lows. Even back there, there's Kenmore. Oh my god! <laughs> this is incredible. I'm never sleeping on a storage unit again. Oh, Phil's mad at himself right now. <laughs> Did you find some pocket knives? In? No, you got 15 knives in those oh, little yeah. sets right next to you. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. Steak knife. We're steak knife in it. Oh wow. <laughs> Pioneer woman. Yeah, a whole box full, whole man. Freaking set. Holy <laughs> shnikes. Good lord. <laughs> what is I know exactly what's gonna happen with this. You know you wanna know what's gonna happen with this? I'm gonna get it home and Jessica's gonna carry the whole damn box inside the house. Guarantee it. Guaranteed. <laughs> It's okay. Happy, happy. Happy um, wife, happy life. Okay. Let's get this off if we can, Phil. Wait, wait, wait. Are we going to have a... Dude. Are we going to have ourselves a... What is this? Is that just a camping... <laughs> Phil acting like he's about to get hit by a car. <laughs> they were speeding. Oh, it's just a... Like a chair. I guess. A camper or a cop? Probably a cot. I'd be willing to bet that's a cot. Here. Oh, never mind. Eh, it's just cassettes. I'm gonna get this out. Oh, this is probably gonna fall. Alright. I did it. What do we got in here? Tons and tons of sewing and crafting stuff, guys. This whole tub. Look at that. Some old designs, old, old patterns. Old patterns, yep. Old patterns. These are probably work basket. Yep. Don't ask me how I know that. Yeah, I've know that? I've bought plenty enough storage units with this kind of stuff to know exactly what work basket looks like before I even see it. Box number two. Yeah, this is incredible, man. Oh, there's more coal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 This right here's in it. It's in it. Well, you hit the push button. There's a push, push button. button. Push button on both sides. I like push button. There's push button on both sides. Here, set it down. Oh. I'm scared. Ooh. Oh, Dude. that's cool. What? Oh yeah. Fishing on this side. Fishing dog on the other. Man, this is cool. Adjustable two mantle. That's cool. With the carrying case. I bet that's a hundred bucks easy. Well, look at this though. Here's that same plastic base. Yep. So where's this one? We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. But until then, we're gonna look in this box. <laughs> this is gonna be a good and here we go, boys and girls. Let me take a seat. Uh, Pioneer woman. More. Now is this stuff used? Slightly. This yeah, stuff, see. yeah, some of it's a little used, but still it's Pioneer Woman. Look at that mixing bowl, bro. Oh, look at this one. Yeah. This is Pioneer Woman. That's crazy. It's all Pioneer Woman. Yeah. Somebody loved their Pioneer Woman. Look, Coleman, Coleman. Kenmore. Something down here. Copper Chef. More Coleman. Aroma. Coleman. What is going on here? I just don't understand it. I bet that's another cot. Yep. What's this? I bet it's a little single burner stove. What do you want to bet? You're a good guesser. Yeah. Yep, single burner stove, guys, from Coleman. That's 
freaking amazing i wonder if they had like like some type of if they used a bunch of coleman stuff for like a like a what do you call it when you order food and they serve it to you catering? Your, yeah catering because there's a bunch of chairs i wonder if they just I mean, used coleman for catering could have been family gatherings you know yeah that could be all right this box it's like the, it's like the like the oprah camping you get a stove and you get a stove <laughs> yeah right <laughs> Copper Chef and Pioneer Woman. Wow. This is cast too, isn't it? Yes. Pioneer Woman cast iron. Are you serious? Wow. What is going on? Your wife's I, gonna get the hook I just, I think, I almost feel like they stole it. <laughs> There's just so much of it. How does one, why does one person need all this, you know? Like, I just can't wrap my mind around it. What? The Coleman cooking table. Another one. <laughs> That's nuts, man. We're gonna have any more tables, we're gonna have a picnic. Yeah. Ooh, leather box. Empty. Oh boo. Coleman perfect flow camp grill. Perfect flow. Perfect flow camp grill. Brand new. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. I might die here in two seconds. Run! <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Look. Portable, portable skillet. Propane portable skillet. Brand new. Guys, we're gonna get, we're gonna figure something out here and then we'll be right back. All right, take a look guys. We got some normal people stuff here. No pioneer woman. No, no Coleman. There's Black and Decker. What the? Oh, okay. Yeah, is this Coffee like a pot. Swiss Army hair dryer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's that box. But we're back to Pioneer Woman down there. I see it. I see. It. Ooh, these are Pioneer Woman too. Refrigerator glass. And there's Pioneer pie pan. Pioneer Woman pie pans and measuring cups down there with the tag on them. Let's see if this Copper Chef here is brand new or if we got j uh, jinxed. Is it new? Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible, man. That's major money. Oh, it, well, it's the induction. Yeah. Thing, so it's not just pans; it's the actual cooker. Yep. We're going to uh, Philip and I both, along with Wade and a lot of other people, are going to be in Vegas October 10th oh, through 17th for Boss Reseller Remix. Definitely go check it out. Uh, just Google search Boss Reseller Remix. Katie and Vicky put it on. Um, can't make it. They have virtual tickets. Yeah, if you can't make it, they do have virtual tickets. Definitely really, really cool. But we do encourage you guys to try and make it out to Vegas. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, what do we got here? No, no, no. Another one of these flexi Basket. cooler things. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, wanted to make mention of that because it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's that Coleman. Coleman something. Yeah, it's just like the one that we had over there for a cooker. Oh, the grill. Or a stove. So maybe we'll find the stove that goes in it. Okay, we got this thing, says Coleman. Uh, this has definitely been used, but uh, unveil. That's nice. That's really, really nice. Holy cow, man. I want to go camping with these people. Wait, that's me now. I want to go camping with me. <laughs> You'll never burn your hands moving along. No, nope, never again. That's cool. That's really cool. Then we found another one of these cooking tables right here. Which is just crazy to me. Then we got a box here. Mystery box! You know how Jason likes his mystery boxes. Fresh out of the storage. That's how he likes his mystery yep. boxes. It's a sharp steak knife. Is it? You know what good, goes good with steak knives? Steak? Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, looky there. More Pioneer. More Pioneer woman. Oh, look at the bedazzled. Look at this. Look at this, dude. It's all. I don't know if that's Pioneer Woman or not. No, but it's pretty. Dude, Jessica's gonna have a heyday. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to tie her down or lock her in the house or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna try and be like, hey. 
you want to have a good time tonight? <laughs> She's going to be like, what do I need to do? <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know if the good stuff ever ends and the bad stuff begins or if that's such a thing. You got boxes of children's books back here. It looks like a little kid's guitar. This is Pioneer Woman right here. I'm going to grab a few more things. We're going to put them on the table there. And we're going to get to it. So this is brand new sealed. I don't even have to do anything with it. It's a one and a half quart teal gingham slow cooker. What do we got in that box? Brand new. Brand new, man. Snuggle do. Snuggle do. See, snuggle do. Snuggle do. Snuggle do. Snuggle don't. Dude, these are all new. All new. This is for, these are those toe socks. No. Those are just mittens, oh. gloves. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on? <laughs> seal, seal hey, we actually need some of these in the house pretty bad. I'm telling you right now, Jessica's going to be going nuts. And then we've got this box, uh, which this is thrift store stuff. This is definitely thrift store stuff. Um, not saying it's bad, because it's definitely not bad. That's a nice mirror. But... You know, we, we're, we're, we're kind of spoiled right now. <laughs> so, kind of a little spoiled. So, when we get to the thrift store stuff, we're like, hey, you know, this is this is cute and all, but this ain't this ain't no Coleman cooking stove. <laughs> so, we're going to we're gonna keep going. We're about to have to, we're going to have to load some of this up. It's getting a little bad. Here we go. Master bedroom closet. Looks like a bunch of clothes. That's, this looks like it came out of the 70s. 80s. Definitely 80s. Oh look, here's the pants to go with it. It's a tracksuit. Wear that in Vegas. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time. Oh. Oh, you can't look at this one. Oh yeah, I can. No more Pioneer Woman. Oh. Brentwood. What is this? <laughs> okay. What else we got down there in this goodie box? <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Need some utensils. Utensiles. That right there. Boy, they love this color. So does my wife. That's a bad thing. <laughs> Is it? Oh, we're in double trouble, bro. Double trouble. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh no! Oh no! There we go. Look at that. And moose. And moose And this is all copper chef stuff in it. Or copper. It's all in the bottom. What's a? I don't see a. I don't see a brand anywhere on this stuff. I don't think they really brand their stuff. Oh, they don't? I don't think it's got like, you know, it's like their pants probably like Copper Chef. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Copper Chef. Sure enough. And it's, oh, you know what's funny? I've got a set of Copper Chef pots and pans that are going up for auction on Tuesday and everybody and their dog wanted to, what, wanted to buy it now price. All right. So it's obviously something that people are after. Get to the copper now. <laughs> we well, we just did. Here we go. Here's another box. Here's another box. What do we have in here? This is used. Oh, that's not. That's weird. Some of it's used and some of it is not. These, these are free. These aren't cheap either. Better Homes and Gardens 10 cup containers. Pioneer Woman. Oh, more Pioneer Woman. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, okay. And that, is that an egg holder? Looks like it. I know an egg holder. Yeah. Good boy. Wow. You could deck the, deck your entire kitchen out with Pioneer right. Woman. You can redo your whole kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Don't say that to Jessica. <laughs> hey, you want a kitchen makeover? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at this. Stackmaster Grant Granite Stone Diamond Pro non-stick space saving cookware. Are you kidding? Is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. Stackmaster. <laughs> that is too cool. Stackmaster 3000. Stackmaster nasty. No. Nope. Pioneer Woman. I was lied to, but I'll take it. They traded out the Stackmaster for Pioneer Woman. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Don't say that. You're just going to hear you. I know. Oh. Look, more Pioneer Woman. Good. Good. <laughs> good. good Lord. Yeah, you see, he just said good, not Lord. 
Yeah, that's Pioneer Woman you serving tray. Yep. Look at that. Wow. And, and another one. More. And we got a Hamilton Beach hand, hand mixer. mixer. Probably just in there to you know, put, take up space. Yep. You know. Well, cause that's because Pioneer Woman hasn't made a hand mixer yet. They have it? Oh, wow. Okay, so we got a tub plumb full of DVDs here. And on this side of things, what do we got here? This clothing. What is this? I bet this is a Pyrex dish and, and cover. Yep. Pyrex portables. These always sell well for me. There it is. It even has the... The lid. the lid with it too so that's a that's a good sale for me here's more pyrex what's in here oh just pyrex two two more pyrex pie pans this is cool it's made jar? by k stevens and this is a giant cookie jar look at that oh it's got okay it's got a lot of names all over it mrs stevens class of 2005 i guess this thing is copper or or uh, brass threshold vase. Not water safe. Distributed by Target. Made in th India. This is brass though. So we've been digging through the pile. There's a lot of clothing. Every single one of these bags here is clothing. And this pile is clothing. But we are finding some really interesting things in here. Take a look. Is this in there? Brand new? Uh, this right here is a, uh, it's a minnow bucket, bait bucket. Let's check this bad boy out. That looks new. Tape still on it. Brand new. What is it? My name is Ree. That's what it is. I don't know. So Pioneer Ree. Woman. There it is. Nice. Cake, Cake stand. stand. We found this mantle clock out of all things. We found this repop. Free pop uh, radio here. This man will clock in 150 bucks. Like Does it really? Yep. Wow. Well, Mostly. Yeah. There it is. $150 USD. There's a uh, brand new mixer here by Oster. This is a brand new Kenmore sewing machine. This right here, Coleman. This is actually what came out of the bag. It's a. Uh, it's a personal heater, catalytic heater. Well, I thought this was interesting. Somebody took a cookie tin and turned it into a lamp. <laughs> so that's actually pretty intuitive. This felt really interesting to me. Um, it's full of stuff. And I just wanted to see what's in it. So Phil, Pokemon cards, training cards. Hot Wheels. Ever, nope. Not even close. Look, the hair's on that. Uh huh. All right, that's a that's <laughs> lot of brushes and hair curling iron. Here we got a bunch of random stuff as well. This is all like the thrift store stuff, but we've got some really nice items in here. Look at that wall-mounted pendulum clock. Brand new pads here. Random stuff in this, but we do have like. This buffer here. This is not leftovers. This is definitely not leftovers. I can tell you that. Look at this. Look at all these kids books, guys. Golden books. Crazy. Wonder books. I wonder how old that pizza is. Hmm? Chips, anyone? I could go for pizza and chips right now. Got some more books here, guys. More kids books. Lots of them, actually. I'm not sure who the makers of these are. Huffton Mifflin. Huffton Mifflin Reading Program. Let's see what, what's the date on it. Does it have one? Probably not. Should have a copyright date somewhere. 1981. Man. That was a little while ago, wasn't it? And then underneath here, I'm pretty sure is more kids' books. And a speak and spell texas instruments speak and spell and has the book with it as well so i thought that was pretty cool down here got some lamps some glass lamps down there got some just random kitchenware items here this looks like a uh, bathroom box got a lot of stuff that has to do with perming your own hair hair dryer stuff this and that right here i thought was pretty interesting we got a lot of figures in here, and there's really no telling what else we're going to find in here. I can't imagine finding a bunch of gold and silver in here just because um, 
you know this person was a reseller and I'm imagining that that kind of stuff is probably already gone ooh ooh man what is going on here ooh buddy look at that wow Made in Japan this is gorgeous stuff that is beautiful Oh yeah, I like that. There's probably more down there. I see more. Yep. I wish we had all the time in the world, but I really don't, guys. Um, I bought six storage units in one week, and we're only allotted so much time to go through it or to to get this stuff loaded up and out of here. So I do have to pick and choose my battles wisely when it comes to what I can show here and what I can't only because of the time constraints. I certainly don't make the rules. If I did, I'd have a lot more time to, uh, to deal with this and be able to show you guys everything, but it's just simply not. Look at this. We still have so much left in here. So much left in here. I don't know what time it is, but we probably only have about 30 more minutes here before we got a jet so we're going to focus on getting the stuff that we've just shown you on the box truck we got a lot of bags of clothing and stuff that we just didn't feel necessary to show you guys i really don't feel like uh digging them out of bags and then not having bags to replace it with so that it would just be loose everywhere so i didn't want to do that so far i'm really liking this unit today is day number two at uh this big 10 by 20 storage unit I, I pulled a few things out here that we've that are just kind of large and in the way starting to find some really cool items take a look at this so here is a cabinet that was uh had things stacked on top of it and behind it we got i've got to try and get the big furniture items out of here uh, and on the truck first before we start stacking and packing a lot of stuff that we've got back there now i did go through some of this off camera the last time we were here we just loaded up bags and bags of clothing it looks like we've got a ton of clothing back here but there's also some other things scattered throughout that are uh, worth mentioning and showing you guys but for the most part the clothing is just going on the truck Still got a lot of stuff down here that we need to go through and uh, this thing's pretty heavy I think there's stuff in it that we got to move out before we get it on the truck let's just take a look okay yes we do have some stuffs what do we got here playing cards empty 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 and here Okay, whatever that is. Tell me that's not real. Okay, that's not real. <laughs> that's not real. Wow. What are these? Huh. These must be some type of... I don't know if the, those are too big to be milk caps. I don't know what these are, y'all. That's interesting. But they look to be uh, something to do with politics. Got some little knives in here, pocket knives. Luther Luther Gravel Company. Those might have some value. A little straight razor here. It is hot today, guys. Hot and humid. So if I'm breathing heavy, I'm sorry. That's really nice. I like that. Okay. What is that? Oh, just a... I don't know. Okay. What's in here? Ooh, old shave stuff. I like it. That's an old... Is that a yo-yo? Little salt and pepper. Yeah. Vintage games. Cool. Ooh, look at this, guys. Old pens. Exxon. Ooh, guys. That's probably Exxon Mobil. Tigers. These are really cool. Dawson for Dean County. Nebraska State Treasurer. Okay. So we've got a lot of political pins here. That's really cool. Looks like they were selling them at one point. It says dollar each. That's really neat. Frankly, I'm for Morrison. Frank Morrison probably. Oh, what is this? Harmony Lodge. Lexington, Nebraska. So this might be like Knights Templar or Masonic. I'm not sure. 
I have to do more research on that. That's pretty neat. What we have right here? Ooh, lots of little pins. What's this one say? Eat more dessert. <laughs> oh, the Red Hat Society. That's cool. Grand Generals Center. These are neat, man. Oh, this is a Red Hat Society bracelet. Cool. And I guess that was just like a little display, stair staircase display. That's what we have in there. I'll have to clean that up before we move it. Let's look in here. Okay, we got a little bit of a mess. Some tools down there. I am by myself today, guys, so bear with me on recording. These caught my interest here. Ellis, made by Bud Lomer, Nebraska. This must have been like maybe just maybe just donated by one person. I'm not sure. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get this cleaned out here and then uh, load it up on the truck and we'll move on back because I'm really excited about this stuff here. Look, this stuff right here. This looks all new. Don't know if it is. Look at that. That's a that looks to be a safe or some type of lock box. I'm excited about that. Literally just uncovered that. So we're gonna have to see. Keys are in it. We're gonna have to see uh, what we uh, what we come across. Okay, guys, this is this is a pretty wild find. Take a look at this. So right here, Pioneer Woman, right? Look at this, brand new in the box, guys. Never used. That is incredible. If it's all there, you're gonna have a stock pot, a saucepan, another saucepan, two frying pans. You're gonna have a pre-seasoned cast iron skillet, these two uh, rectangular bakes with lids. You're gonna have these uh, measuring bowls, these measuring spoons, spatulas, the these right here, and the wooden ones. So that's a lot of stuff in there. That is a lot of stuff in there. Look at this, guys. Over here, just a bunch of teal kitchen utensils, teal color. We've got a low-profile single burner stove, Coleman, right here check this out guys these are nice i mean it's just home decor this is a really nice lamp you got a little small globe down there another lamp and a couple other pieces of home decor box of books there like i need more books guys this right here this right here look at all that all of these these things sell for 50 dollars a piece on ebay the tall ones we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10 of them, 10 of the tall ones, that's $500, guys, $500. You know what I paid for this unit? $390. In this single milk crate, pays for the entire storage unit. It's incredible. That's why we do it, guys. This right here, it doesn't, it's not gold, it's not silver, but look at this, that's $500, $500. This right here pays for everything, pays for this warming tray ge warming tray that's brand new in the package pays for these really cool oil lamps pays for it all guys pays for it all every bit of it is paid for so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get this stuff out get these two big pieces out this is actually the bottom half of this cabinet and so i'm going to get all of these these two big pieces out here so that i can work on these we'll end up getting those boxes next and looking through those guys we forgot to go through the safe i drug this out this thing weighs a ton it really does it weighs a ton and it's old it's just an old safe so let's look and see what we've got here Okay. Oh, there we go. Guys, look at that. Safe Manufacturers National Association. Fire insulated container. Nothing there. And nothing there. That's a shame. Boy, I tell you what, I think that this safe is actually worth some money just because of its age. That's a pretty cool safe. We've got these boxes right here. All these boxes we're about to go through right here. Still sealed. This is a Coleman Powermax lantern. Brand new in the box. About to pop this open, see what's going on here. You like my makeshift knife? You work with what you got. Oh. Okay. More tape than I anticipated. Must be something nice. Oh boy. Okay, look at that. 
I don't know if that's Pioneer Woman. It sure looks it, but I don't see any markings. And I know that the Pioneer Woman marks just about everything. Ooh. I don't know. I do not know. There it is. Pioneer Woman. Beautiful. Looks like we got a bunch of goodies in here. There's more Pioneer Woman down there. Oh, this is the rolling pin. Guys. Pioneer Woman rolling pin. This might actually be worth some money. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Lots of Pioneer Woman in that box. Love it. This right here uh, says Gotham Steel smokeless grill pretty cool looks like it's never been used let's see what's in this the big reveal what's in here oh looks like we got some photos <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. what we got in here y'all this is interesting okay i was thinking maybe that was something but it's not these are those etched glass things looks like they're all the same pope john paul ii that's a crucifix okay not bad not bad looks like a lot of catholic decor i say catholic i mean pope the pope i guess would be catholic yeah so there's that aroma food steamer i wonder if this is the manufacturer's tape we're about to find out went from brand new to open box just because i did this yep brand new Nice. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, I see it. I see it. Look at that, y'all. That is gorgeous. Pioneer Woman Melamine Serving Bowl Set with Lids. Why did he have all this? There's more uh, refrigerator glass. More Pioneer Woman down here. Oh, with the uh, tray thing. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, beautiful stuff, holy cow. I don't know why he had so much of this stuff. Don't know why he had so much. What do we have, what do we have in here? Mystery box. Okay, some mixture of new and old. Oh, look at that, that's cast iron Pioneer Woman. Okay, I don't wanna unwrap a lot of this, especially with the cast, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff in here. Wow, so much Pioneer Woman. And this is another rolling pin. This could be the money maker. Some of these rolling pins go for over a hundred dollars, so not too bad. Not too bad. That all came out of this right here, and we're gonna go ahead and get this hauled out of here. I'm hoping this has got a bunch of stuff in it, but we're not sure yet. This monstrosity back behind is gonna be a lot of clothing. I'm gonna end up loading up all the clothing and then we'll line this storage unit with all the boxes and go through the boxes together. Man, I this storage unit just absolutely continue to amaze me. It just continues to amaze me. Man, I tell you, we've made our money 10 times over. So what we've got in these boxes looks like really a bunch of thrift store items. Uh, probably donations, I would presume. But uh, nonetheless, we might find some good things in here if we dig long enough. Lots of shoes, Skechers. These are nice, I like these. Dan skin, okay. But uh, you know, maybe somebody's got, uh, somebody might be able to use these. Who knows? In this box, oh, here we go. Opryland, that's a vintage t-shirt. Screen stars, it's a kid's tee. What about this one? Ozark Mountain Country, that's another single stitch. Vintage tee, Oneida Power 5050. This is nice. American Plunge, Silver Dollar City. Hey, this was a good find, for sure. Okay, I wanna see it. One handed here. Antigua. That is another single stitch. These are all single stitch tees, y'all. A little dirty. A little stained up. Angel Fire, New Mexico. A little ski resort. No room in the middle. Okay. Oh, we got some crafting stuff in there. There's a bunch of these. I don't know if these are Lincoln logs or what they are, but a bunch of logs there. Over here. A lot more of kind of the same as the first couple of boxes, right? Right here. Look at that, y'all. All these old golden books, kids' books. 
Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. A lot of golden books. Night Before Christmas. Christmas Story. Three Bears. That's a 39 cent golden book. Holy cow. Got some more sewing. Well, not sewing, but crafting stuff. Looks like a lot of crafting stuff. Sewing patterns. This whole bag here. Plum full of this stuff. Crazy. We got clothing in here some milk glass down here got some boots i thought this was neat look at that it's a butler rack on a high back chair and i see something coca-cola down here we're kind of starting to get into i think the thrift store stuff not sure what we're going to have got a couple rugs here there's a rug down there as well so what i'm going to end up doing i'm going to end up loading most of this up if it's some, if I find something interesting, I'll pop in and show you guys. But it's about time I get this sucker cleaned out so that we can go on to the next one.